Hello. Welcome again to another session of Digital Slide Review and Sign Out. I'm Dr. Lewis Hassel. Our program is made possible by the wonderful uh, auspices of the Digital Anatomic Pathology Academy, a joint venture with Digital Pathology Association and PATH Presenter. Uh, our case today is uh, one of those uh, uncommonly encountered uh, gastrointestinal lesions that uh, sometimes might otherwise be uh, missed. The patient is a 58-year-old woman uh, with diarrhea. She has cholelithiasis and uh, has had diabetes and glucose intolerance for a few years. So uh, she has had a recent uh, onset of progressive diarrhea. Uh, some associated uh, right upper quadrant pain, uh, a little cholelithiasis, and here you can see a representative CT scan showing a mass here uh, in the uh, portion of the duodenum. Uh, she has no history of prior malignancy, no melanin, no fever, weight loss, no jaundice, um, and uh, chemistries and so forth are relatively uh, unremarkable. Uh, upper endoscopy shows a polypoid mass in the second and third portion of the duodenum uh, right close to the uh, ampulla. So uh, biopsy is performed and ultimately uh, she's resected with a uh, Whipple procedure being performed. Here you can see a representative sample of that. We see the small bowel mucosa here, uh, a few Brunner's glands re remaining there. Uh, and then we see this uh, neoplasm here that uh, appears to also involve uh, portions of the wall and possibly extend uh, into the wall uh, as we see here. Um, looking a little closer to the mucosa first, uh, we'll begin up here. Uh, and we can see that uh, there's a bit of ulceration, erosion under the uh, mucosa, uh, but that this lesion is not uh, primarily uh, involving the mucosal surface, though there's secondary erosion. It's primarily in the submucosa, uh, and it has the nice uh, jigsaw puzzle uh, type of appearance of uh, a neuroendocrine tumor with a small nested gland formation or gland-like formations uh, being formed here. Uh, so if this were our biopsy, we might say a neuroendocrine tumor. Um, we could see the high magnification view of the nuclei, uh, see these um, nice salt and pepper appearances with a few scattered small uh, um, nucleoli-like structures, uh, uh, maybe masquerading a few chromocenters and so forth. Uh, not uh, much in the way of mitotic figures as we look around. Uh, and so we might say, well, this is just a uh, grade one neuroendocrine tumor. However, as we look a little further, uh, we note that there's something somewhat unique here, uh, and that is uh, the presence of these uh, little uh, inspissated uh, calcifications that are scattered around. We'll take a look a little more closely at these. And here you see uh, one of them here. Here's another over here. There's another one here. Here's several here. Nice little samomatous type calcifications. So this finding, in conjunction with his well-differentiated appearance and her clinical history of diarrhea, glucose intolerance, and uh, possibly cholelithiasis, uh, are strongly suggestive, if not diagnostic, of a somatostatinoma. Uh, in this case, it's one that is of good size, and we can see that it here uh, penetrates into the uh, wall and uh, extends actually through the wall. Though again, here we see several of these uh, samomatous calcifications uh, within the lesion. So the syndrome of duodenal somatostatinoma is characterized by the clinical syndrome uh, associated with hypersomatostatinemia uh, with diarrhea, maybe steatorrhea, glucose intolerance, um, and uh, possibly cholelithiasis. Uh, now, most commonly, we'd see somatostatinomas in the pancreas, uh, but in the duodenum, uh, and especially around the ampulla, this uh, appearance is virtually diagnostic when we have this uh, sort of pseudoglandular formation and variable numbers, small or many, of samoma bodies. Uh, of note, this lesion is uh, occasionally associated with neurofibromatosis type 1. 
So uh, that's a quick uh, pearl for today. Our final sign-out diagnosis is duodenal neuroendocrine tumor, well-differentiated uh, somatostatinoma. Uh, we hope that uh, that's been uh, helpful to you and uh, that the next time you encounter one of these, you'll bring this to mind. In the meantime, please uh, comment, subscribe, share your uh, thoughts, uh, like the video, um, and uh, share it with your friends. And uh, come back again next time. We'll look forward to uh, sharing another uh, unusually encountered uh, GI case or another issue uh, with you at some future point.